SAP Adaptive Server Enterprise course content. As mentioned in the previous video, I want to guide you over the process of becoming the SAP Adaptive Server Database Administrator. On one hand, indeed, you are alone, but on the other, I try to give you my best experiences gained over a long time of my own journey with Sybase Adaptive Server. Please remember that Ademi gives you great class environment. You can contact your trainer, send questions, remarks, and so on. Let's be in contact. The course contains a couple of sections and in each section there is a video material where I show you how to do something or how the Sybase logic works. Try to find a little bit time to watch this video in quiet conditions. After the video you will always find a short free questions quiz. All the answers can be found in the video, so no worries. If you answer the question incorrectly, just watch the video again. When you already have some theoretical overview of the topic, proceed to the exercises part. Each lesson has a small activities part where you can try to act on your own. In my opinion, this part is the most important. Don't try to watch too much videos at once. This is not a race. This is rather a study and discovery process, so not the tempo is the most important, but the quality. Our course just step by step. We begin with a preparation. I assume that you have a Windows computer where you can install Hyper-V or VM player and create a virtual machine. If you are working on Linux, no problem. Decide if you want to have a virtual machine or you just want to install Sybase on your host. You decide. As not everyone knows how to install Linux, we show such a topic in the second section. Sybase installation can be easy, but it can be also painful. The most important point about the installation is a good preparation. Install required packages, configure a network, create user, configure a security. Having all the prerequisites, you will learn how to install Sybase. You will install it like a pro from command line. As every complicated system, also Sybase has a lot of very important configuration files. You should know the most important of them. What the information they contain, where they can be found, how they are used by Sybase, and so on. You will need to learn how to start and stop the server. You will probably also want to have the server available from network and you will want Sybase to start automatically. You will also learn how the Sybase parameters can be changed, how to work with the configuration files, and so on. So finally, you will be at the level where having strong fundaments, you can indeed start exploring on your own. And this is the goal of that course. Good luck!